This is Casey Smotherman. This is Investor Creators Women in Business Podcast. I am here with Tasha Bird today. We've been in business Hello. together mm-hmm. for four years now. It's crazy. Which is hard to believe. It is. That is crazy. Yeah. It's been that long. It has been a while, but <laughs> it's been a fun journey. So yeah. I'll just let you kind of introduce yourself yeah. and yeah. Cool. So I'm I'm Tasha, like she said. Um, I have I feel like on investor creator side, I've probably done a little bit of everything. Um, mm-hmm. Started out over here as answering support emails, helping file some papers, which I'm I'm not good at at all. But they gave me a, they gave me a chance and started me there, and um, have just kind of slowly moved my way around doing different things. And now I direct a lot of the chaos in investor creator. She directs and- all the chaos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so all with the help, it. y'all help, um, but. Yeah, so that's that's what I'm doing now. I have um, always done some type of entrepreneurship, but I've been with Brad and Casey for almost four years. I think it'll be four years next month. So, mm-hmm. yeah, it's been a fun ride, um, a very unexpected mm-hmm. fun ride. Yeah, because you owned a business prior yes. to coming yep. to business with us. So yep. you've had a long journey of being a business owner and knowing what that's like. Yep. So you're also a mom and a wife. Mm -hmm. So that's one thing that we always talk to other women about is how do they have Mm -hmm. that elusive balance of being a mom, being a wife, being a business owner. So tell us about your family. Yeah. So I have a husband, child. Uh, No, I have, I have a husband. (laughs) He's wonderful. Um, But I have two girls in addition to that and um, 13 year old and an eight year old. And for all the women out there that have a teenager, you know, uh, <laughs> we're, we're not there yet. So I'm like, Tasha. no, uh, I know I, yeah. I forewarn you guys all the time. I'm like, Harper and I got into it last night about this and just yeah. get ready. Yeah. Um, but yes, 13 year old, eight year old, they're both very involved in activities. We, Charlie and I are in like the busiest season of our lives right now. And then we both have leadership positions at our jobs. And so there's a lot of balancing going on in our family for sure. Yeah. Yeah. So what have you found or what are some tools and tactics that you found to be able to balance or figure out how to (laughs) do all the things? So It's always a work in progress. Mm -hmm. Um, And our life is not pretty most of the time. And I feel like it's a lot of dividing and so Casey and I were talking today about like, what are we going to talk about today? And I was like, I feel like it's something that a lot of women talk about, but we could always continue talking about and getting better. It's like managing, um, being the uh, main person in your job and in your home and in these little people's lives. And so for us, it's a lot of divide and conquering. I'm very thankful for my husband because he's usually with the little one because he coaches her sports and with her music, he's, he's musical. So that's priority for him. So they do their thing. And then my daughter's very involved in cheer. And so we do that. And then at work, you know, I just try to ma- manage my time as well as I can. So it's very limited what I can do in office, right? So my kids, Brian and Casey are, they totally promote work-life balance. Mm-hmm. And like you guys are family people with small kids. So like they encourage that with their employees too. like, make sure you have time for your family and your children. And so for me, it's a priority to take my kids to school and pick them up. Mm-hmm. And so I know with my office time, like I have to cram it out. And so sometimes uh, there may be a meeting that can be an email and I have to, I have to do that. So mm-hmm. um, it's just making sure that the important things that I have to be involved in, I get those done. And then at home, I have to delegate a lot. Mm-hmm. You know, we've had to the uh, what Biggie Smalls, more money, more problems, right? So like <laughs> the higher you climb up, I think in a role in a job, the less stuff you're able to do at home. And I can't be replaced as a wife or a mom. Maybe I can as a wife. I don't know, Charlie. Maybe like, yes, you can. Um, <laughs> no way. That's no way. <laughs> And she can be replaced. Yeah, but I can't be replaced there. And yeah. then also, like in I see, mm-hmm. I could be replaced, but I'm I'm important mm-hmm. to keep things together here too. And so I have those are my priorities. And so I have to be present there, but I don't have to be present with uh, cleaning my house or mowing my yard. Um, I Instacart a lot, mm-hmm. uh, so I try to utilize things to make the stuff 
like the busy stuff in life easier and take that off my plate. Yeah. The things that don't matter to be present, the things that do matter. We so. have to pick our non-negotiables. Like what are the top things? Like you said, picking up your kids from school every day. Yes. That's one of mine too. It's like, I want to be there for that. Mm-hmm. Be there for all the all the things. Yep. Maybe we don't want to be at everything. There's yeah. Something. We've talked about that <laughs> yes. before. It's like maybe sometimes it's like I don't want to be the one to volunteer for that. Yeah. <laughs> yes. But for the most part, it's it, you got to pick your non negotiables and mm-hmm. then figure out like what do I have time blocking our days? Yes. Right. Yes. And then going from there. So I mean, that was one thing too. That was. One thing that was really difficult for me was outsourcing cleaning the house. Yeah. I don't know why that was such a hard thing for me. Mm -hmm. Just mentally, I'm like, no, like I can clean my own house. Yes. But I realized actually I just did a live with Brad. He was in there like wiping off the whiteboard and it had been on there for a while. So he's like stuck on there. Mm -hmm. And so I did a live for our scale members who are our apprentices that are scaling their business. And now they're beginning to hire people. Yes. And he's over there like scrubbing the whiteboard. I'm like, let's talk about low value tasks here yes. and things that like we really probably should delegate out. Yep. Like let's let somebody else scrub the whiteboard. Let's let somebody else clean our house because our time as business owners mm-hmm. and leaders needs to be in in growing growth and vision and yep. all that good stuff, which I know that that's something you and Brad are very much like visionaries. Yeah. So, um, I'm more of the detailed person. Mm-hmm. So I, I think like that's one thing too, like making sure that you have space, like even just mental space when you're a visionary yes. to be able to think positively yes. about where you're going or where your team's going. Because if you're bogged down with like, I got to get this and this and this done. That's why anytime we have a vacation, mm-hmm. like I probably need to look into like professional packers. Like seriously. Oh, yeah. Because that stirs my head up so bad. Mm-hmm. Like the week before we're going anywhere, it's hard for me to get stuff done and be in like a productive headspace because my head's so bogged down with all the stuff. And yes. so even like being a like visionary person. It's hard to put yourself in a happy, Mm -hmm. you know, positive. This is where we're going. Yeah. When you're bogged down. Totally. Just life. Well, and I know you and I are very similar and like we like our life to be organized. We like things to be. So, I mean, one thing for me, I have a professional organizer. So shout out to Suddenly Simple and Lee. She has been a lifesaver because she comes and she helps me get organized. Mm So it seems like, you know, that was something that I would have viewed as very, um, a splurge, you know, to have that, but really for us to be able to run to companies and like, yeah, we we have to have those kinds of things just to have the mental space where it's like, okay, my home is organized. My pantry is organized and I can find things. And there's nothing worse than getting into a closet where you open the door and it falls on your head. Nothing makes me want to just set everything on fire. Right. Like, Get rid of and it does. It puts you in a bad spot. Yeah. Like you just can't like imagine ever getting out of that or ever mm-hmm. having better or doing more productive things when all that's going on. So I know they came here at the office and yes. did a lot. And mm-hmm. it's so nice for me even just to go get oh, I hit my thing. It's so <laughs> nice for me just to go get a cup of coffee. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. cause it's, it's organized and, it's and like labeled and so yeah, pretty. it just feels good. Yeah. You know, yeah. like I feel very productive here for and sure. So, yeah, I mean, that's 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 an important piece that people may look at as, at a, as a splurge. But when you're busy, mom and wife and uh, leading uh, running two companies. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like it's it's, it's a necessity yeah. instead of a splurge for sure. For sure. For sure. So taking care of yourself. Yeah. So we've talked about outsourcing mm-hmm. the must do's. I mean, we all have to eat. Yeah. I mean, I guess we don't have to have plain houses, but mm-hmm. we, it, it's. You know, it's a month yeah. for people like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So taking care of yourself. Mm-hmm. So how do you, you are on calls almost all day long. Mm-hmm. You're giving a lot of energy to your team, yeah. your mental energy. And so like, how do you take care of yourself amongst? I'm all always that? improving on that, by the way. <laughs> um, and honestly, sometimes you and Brad will call me out for it, which is good. You guys are like, hey, that's, you're expending a lot of energy. Mm-hmm. Just make sure that you're eating right or doing what you're supposed to do. So me personally, I'm on a journey with that this year with like my health, because that is something that I've let go. And that's, you know, that's not good. Put you in a bad spot. But I know when mentally I'm I'm not doing good. And so I listen to myself. 
Mm-hmm. I have learned, I've dealt with anxiety. I've told Brad and Casey this, I've dealt with anxiety my whole life. It's just something that I've, I've battled with. And when I feel it creep in, mm-hmm. I have to take a time out and give myself grace. And when I come home, I try not to talk a lot. I try to chill. I try to do things I like to do. I love going places with my family. We love vacation. So when it's time for a vacation, it's time for a vacation. Like, we got to go. So we do try to do uh, vacations, even if that is a weekend in Chattanooga. You know, we, we do try to do that. So uh, definitely that when I come home, some quiet time like is really good for me because I talk a lot during the day. And so I know I have to charge my battery by being and staying quiet. Uh, reading. Um, listen, I love some Bravo shows too. Mm-hmm. And so sometimes I just have a good time in bed watching a Bravo show. Like I try to do something that I love to do. Yes. And so like that helps me recharge my battery so I can come in here and, and be positive. It's funny because I was needing, I was starting to need a break before I left for Hawaii. Mm-hmm. And I swear, you know, just when you work with people for so long, they know you. And so when I came back, Brad and Casey were both like, you look really energized. <laughs> you look so like, I, yeah. people notice it, you know, when you're coming down and when your battery's not charged. And so those are the things I have to do for myself is I'm expending a lot of energy during the day talking. And so being quiet, doing some things I love. Um, and then also like that organizational piece comes mm-hmm. into when my house is clean, I feel good, but, um, personal health too. I've, I've got to eat right. Not a lot of caffeine. I've got to go to bed. I mean, you we had early too, don't you? Yes. We're, we're very early to I bed, love so. my rest. <laughs> yes, yes. I love my rest. And so yes. I have to do those things to make sure that mm-hmm. I've got enough energy to, to yes. get what I need to get done. And yes. that's wife, mother, and um, I see director too. We so. gotta, we gotta take care of ourselves. Mm-hmm. Hallmark's my jam. So Hallmark is like, I can watch a 15 minutes of a movie. Makes and feel good. It makes me feel good. Yes. And I know what's going to happen. So if I fall asleep on it, like, mm-hmm. you know, I'm not staying up late to finish it. It does. So, it makes you feel good. It, it's good to have those mindless things. Everywhere. And sometimes just do what makes you feel good. You know, like, uh, I wish it was exercising for me. I think it maybe would be if I would give it a shot. Uh, but it's funny because you know, my husband loves, like, he's always at the gym or walking. He's like, you should come on a walk with me. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> that doesn't sound like fun. But I do need to do more of that because I think the more you do things like that, you would enjoy it. But yeah. you're finding something that you do enjoy. Yeah. Even if it's just um, yoga sitting, sitting or outside. Pilates yeah. or yeah. 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 All that good stuff. So we've got our mastermind coming up next week. We're our big one. Yes. So we had our scale mastermind. Uh, I guess a couple months ago. And Mm -hmm. so we've got all of our apprentices coming in, which is super exciting. To Murfreesboro, finally. To Murfreesboro, yes. That's so fun. Yes. So they're coming in next week and we'll all get together. We've got some really great speakers. But one thing that we are doing, we always do at our masterminds is have the workouts in the morning. So it's like, okay, we're going to have this workout time where we start our day and then Mm -hmm. we can learn and grow and all that good stuff. So, um, so we're really, really excited. And it put, like to put you in a good headspace to yes. put you in a spot to where like you cleared your brain, you're ready to learn, absorb everything in. Sure. Um, so there's definitely, there's a reason for that. Mm-hmm. So I think that that's awesome that y'all do that, yeah. you know, because yeah. it's, it's different. Most masterminds, you know, if you, if you do events like these, like they just, they start with info, but I just think it's so cool that you guys always start the day out with some sort of like activity to make pe- some people uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. Like for me, it would make me uncomfortable. I don't like going into a gym where I don't know anybody or I think everybody's looking at me. One time we did knife fighting. You remember yes. that? You and yes. I like knife we fought did. together. <laughs> we were <laughs> good. At yeah, <laughs> we did try. We, did try. we were probably the most uncoordinated ones there. Um, <laughs> <For sure. laughs> but it was good. It was and fun. so and we learned a skill. Yeah. So, and so it, it's to make you uncomfortable. Mm-hmm some people yeah and then for others it's to for clarity and focus mm-hmm. and you know just to get you ready for the day so i think those are really fun yeah definitely i hope our apprentices come to those for definitely sure. do that yes yes highly encourage the workouts um we do have something we're adding in this year which kind of goes along with our women in business podcast we have a women's breakfast so we're going to have a guest speaker that we're really excited about yeah. and it'll be a really great opportunity for the yeah. women to get together and just some, you know, yeah. Really good. Well, and that's what we've not talked about too, a lot with like why it was so important to us to have like a women's thing. Mm-hmm. And I mean, I know with Brad and Casey's company on both sides, the investing side and investor creator, 
there are a lot of women in leadership positions over here. And there's a reason for that. Like, man, can we multitask? Like, can we not? Like, we can. <laughs> and, um, and I'm not saying men can, mm-hmm. okay? They but can. I'm, I'm, they, I'm yeah. just giving they us can. a pat on the back here. Um, and it's it's also, it's different as a woman to, see, here's my daughter calling me right now. It's all day. Um, but it's also different being a female in investing. There's more challenges, you know, with safety. Um, there different is considerations for sure. hundred yeah. percent. And yeah. it's so important to have that network. And so I don't know a lot of um, investing groups that do have like subgroups with just women like this. And mm-hmm. that was important to us is to empower them. And for those that are doing things outside of the home, like man working inside of the home is tough. So we're not saying that, but we're saying if you take the choice to work outside of the home in investing, um, we know that there are different considerations Mm -hmm. and different problems that arise. And so that's what that women's breakfast is all about too, is like getting to know other women and talking that out. I think and encouraging each other Mm -hmm. too. I think it's just so important for you know, us moms to see that other moms are doing this and we might be on a call to buy a house and our kid is in the background, like throwing a fit or maybe Bluey's on the phone, on the, you know, or whatever is on the TV (laughs) in the background. It's like, Hey, I'm over here buying this house. Yes. So, but that, that doesn't have to limit you, Mm -hmm. you know, and you can have both. You just like, like we started with like, Pick what's your non-negotiables. Yes. And make sure to maintain those priorities and then being okay with letting some of it go. Yep. And outsourcing and all yep. that good stuff. So, yep. yeah. So anything else you want to share? Or? Um, I feel like I've talked a lot, so that's probably it. But um, I'm just, I'm excited for this podcast. Um, hopefully I'll pop on here a bit more. We've got lots of cool chicks in the office, lots of, cool ladies uh for y'all to hear from um but i hope to be on here more and um yeah i'm excited for that thanks for having me yeah i'm so glad you were here yep